Welcome to So Very Easy. My name is Laura and there's a way we can piece an entire quilt and use only one pin and have the best accuracy as we've ever had. So instead of pinning our fabrics together, we need to find a pin replacement and we can replace those pins with tiny drops of glue. We do need to have a glue that is designed exactly for this so that it doesn't hurt the fabric and it can come off very easily. We're only going to need one pin and this pin is to help us line up fabrics, not to pin the fabrics together. Let me show you how this is going to work and then I will show you on this Lemoyne star. I will be using this Acorn Seam Align Glue. It's really designed for the seams. It's in a little one ounce bottle with a little rubber end on it, then a tiny little spout that we're going to be able to put a drop or two exactly where we need it. For example, if I want to put these two pieces of fabric together, I would normally match up those ends and pin those layers together so that I could bring it to the machine and stitch. When we're doing a seam like this where we come to the end, this little end has a tendency to want to move. And because some of this is on the bias, it does want to stretch. So we can replace those pins with this little glue. So I can put little drops of glue right along this edge. So I'm only putting tiny little drops of glue and I'm going to do that all the way around right to that very end. And they're really, really tiny drops of glue. I now will match up those edges. Then I'm going to be able to just heat set that for a second. That now has replaced the pins. You can see how that is going to stick together. We now will be able to sew that seam. But if you need to take them apart, it's not a problem. They just come off. It's not stretching or distorting your fabric. Now I can re-glue the proper seams together. And for these little points, I do want to get a little drop right at that point. Line them up, heat set. Now I can pick this up and bring it to the machine. The only thing is, is we won't know what side we've pin glued. So we can always put some kind of a clip or a marker on that side so that I know that is the side that I need to stitch. So this is holding that seam together perfectly flat for me and it's also going to keep that corner in place. I can now take it to the machine and stitch down that one edge. So it works really good for any diagonal seams, any straight seams, but it also works good when we're stitching these long strips of fabric together. We'll notice a lot of times when we put these strips together and we start stitching all the way down this edge as we keep stitching. When we get to the one end, the bottom fabric is often shorter than the top, even though they started off the same. The reason is the feed dogs are pulling faster than the top of the machine. So it's going to pull this fabric while this fabric is just sort of floating along. By gluing that long seam and heat setting it, it's going to keep all of those layers together so that fabric will evenly go between the feed dogs and the foot. So if I'm going to be doing a Bargello quilt or a quilt that I'm going to be sewing a lot of strips together, my strips are not going to come and bow and have that curve to them because the fabric is being fed evenly through the machine. And once again, we can always take that apart and it did not distort the fabric. I'm going to sew together this Lemoyne star. So I need four corners that are going to look like this. We have bias seams, we have seams that are going to have to nestle, and points that need to go together. I'm going to sew this all using this glue 
and one pin. So I'm going to start sewing these together. I'm going to take that small triangle and sew them onto that longer edge. So I'm going to glue pin these. I have four pieces. So I'm going to put those four in a row and add the ones that are going to go on the side. So I know these are going to go right along this edge. I can do about four pieces at a time and the glue does not really dry until it goes to an iron. It will dry if it sits for a long time, but I have lots of time to work on this. So I'm going to make sure I have a dot in the corner and then a couple of dots as I'm going along and make sure there's one in that corner. Just right, right along that edge. And you can see that it's very quick to do. It's probably less time than pinning. Now I can line those up just like I would do if I was pinning. And this really allows me to be very precise. Now I can heat set that glue. And I'm just going up and down because I don't want to stretch anything. I'm going to put those together, put a clip, and work on the next four. Now I can just put those little drops of glue getting right to that very end. And you really only need a little tiny dot. And line them up. This glue has absolutely no smell. Now I can heat set this glue. Put a clip to identify the side that I do need to sew. And now I can bring these to the machine and stitch them. You can see how perfect that quarter inch seam allowance is. Even when you get right to this end, I can now press these. But let's say we wanted to press the seam open. It's very easy to release that glue. And just pop out that fabric glue. And that will go all the way along. And all of that glue was released. You can see that it did not distort the fabric at all. So now if I wanted to, I could press this open. I will be pressing those seams to the red side. But I like to set that seam first. And then just with my fingers, fold that fabric over and finger press and heat set. I now will be able to join these two seams. So I will lay them out again in a nice little row. And by the way, this does not spill if it tips over. I know they're going to go on top this way. I now will flip those over and I'm going to be able to add my glue dots. I do like to add the glue onto the higher part of the fabric, but I will put just a little dot also on the white end. I want two dots on that little end and then just dot it all the way right to that end. Line them up. And now I can set that seam just up and down. Place those pieces together. Clip so I know that's the seam I'm going to sew. And I'm going to pin and sew. All of my pieces were cut out with templates. And if I compare those templates, they are still exact. So I know none of my fabric has stretched and all of the points are together. I'm going to continue heat setting that seam. And then just with my hand, Fold that over, finger press it, and press. And we can see how straight this is. So I do not need to square anything up. It's going to fit perfect with the other piece. I now will be able to sew these two seams together. One row of glue dots hitting that high and the low coming right to that very point. You only need to glue the one side. Match up the seams and press. If for some reason you had one of those seams slide, just release it and re-glue. 
now I can reset those seams. I will also be able to test it to make sure that they line up. So I get to have a sneak peek before I sew. By gluing those corners, none of my stitching came off and I didn't have to remove the pins. Now when I open them up, those intersections match perfectly and my points match up perfectly. I'm going to continue setting that seam and then hand pressing that over and heat set. I can now start to sew my four together and glue these seams together and I will nestle up my corners. Heat set and stitch. And when I open this up, they are perfectly together. I have one seam left to go and this is where I'm going to need that one pin. I do want that point and that point to match up. So I'll put a pin in the back of the top piece right in that intersection and then line that up Put that pin right in that intersection and then have that pin stay straight up and down. And I'm going to glue this little area first. I can lift that fabric up and look inside. I see it's all right. Put a little bit of a glue. We don't need a lot. Push that fabric down, match up that little area. I still leave that pin on. And with the nose of my iron, I'm going to heat set that glue. When it's glued, then I can remove the pin and give it another little second or two just to heat set. And put a clip to hold that together. Now I can finish gluing the one side and gluing the second side. Now I can stitch that. I do like to heat set that very last seam. I'll separate those threads a little bit right at the top and that glue will just pop off. And I do want those seams to go in opposite directions. And that will give me that little starburst or that little swirl in the center. Once that final pressing is done, you can see how perfectly square this did remain. We didn't have to trim up as we went along. The seams did not stretch because they were held together with the glue. So this entire block with all of those bias seams was only put together with one pin. And that was for that final point. You can get a starter set with that glue. You can also use this pressing solution to press that fabric and prepare it first. It is important that your fabric is nice and flat before you start any project, but the glue really does help keeping all those seams accurate. Using a glue to hold those layers together is like sewing over top of those pins. There's no bump to go over, but it's holding all of those seams together. So the fabric is not going to shift, especially when we get to those little points where we really do not want those seams to shift. We want those points to line up. And when you get beautiful results like this, it really makes the sewing day even more enjoyable. I'll put a link in the description so you can check it out. And as always, thank you for joining me today on Sew Very Easy. Feel free to subscribe and come on back. Let's see what we're talking about next time in the sewing room. Bye for now.